Okay, where are we going? It's getting quite, quite dark, isn't it, now? We're going to be quite tired. We will now see how you learn a completely new shunt. Okay. Master Bori will teach you wolf, which means whirlwind. Okay. Wolf. Hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thum. Approach Master Bob and he will give you the child of the wood. Okay. Now we will see how quickly you can master a new child. To equip it then. Kinds piece, what does that do though first? Um, okay, we don't need that for now. Just looking at that other shout we gained not long ago. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori? Rex! Wolf! Your turn. Stand next to me. Okay. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. I'm next to you. Your quick mastery of a new thum is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. I thought it was this easy for everyone. No, indeed not. But beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. Okay. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller, our founder from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengrav. Hmm. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Okay. Right. Breath and uh, I'll maybe talk to Arngir for a second. Sky above. Why are voice the dragons the returning? Does it have something to do with me? No doubt. The appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Thank you, Master. I will continue my training. Good. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. Why are the shouts in dragon language? Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, Dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it almost without effort. Okay. Uh, there are only four of you? Five. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. Okay. When can I meet your leader, Parthenax? As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to him. Uh, who is Jorgen Windercaller? He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. 
Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. Okay, what is the way of the voice? The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinnereth at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. But I don't follow your philosophy. Why help me learn the voice? The Dragonborn is an exception to all the rules. The dragon blood itself is a gift of the gods. If we accept one gift, how can we deny the other? As Dragonborn, you have received the ability to shout directly from Akatosh. We therefore seek to guide you on the proper use of your gift, which transcends the restrictions which bind other mortals. Okay. Sky above, voice. So we've got to retrieve the horn of Jürgen Winkler. Um, it's quite late as well, so you should probably try to rest. Um, we might have to head back down to uh, Iverstead and go to the inn. I think that's what we'll do. Eleven twenty-five. Quite late. Quite late. down to Iverstead. There you go, our first fast travel of the game, just so you don't have to watch me constantly go up and down the throat of the world and all that, because it will be quite boring for you guys. Uh, the War of Red Dam began in the third era, 221, when Euro the third kept to the phone with his mother, Queen Potema. And in the preferred era for the defeat of the Siege of Solitude. Said the only way to join the Dark Brother is to be contacted directly, and the shadowy group of assassins is very selective in its recruiting. Basically, what you get in Oblivion, you got like the little things telling you about stuff, and it's definitely a lot more, ex a lot better in Skyrim what they tell you because it's more variety and stuff. Anyway, whoa. You there? You're the one they call Dragonborn. Yes, I am Dragonborn. Your lies fall on deaf ears, Deceiver. The true Dragonborn comes. You are but his shadow. Okay. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. Hmm. Ah! Die! Resist, person. I shall do We'll drop her. Uh, now we'll, we'll level her. Point on to stamina. Okay, this is part of the expansion Dragonborn. We'll read that note in the morning. Uh, rather than today. Yeah, that's from the expansion Dragonborn, guys. I will be doing that after the main quest, uh, because I'd rather do the main quest first. Uh, that will be something we'll be going on. We'll be going on after the main quest. That is one of the things we'll be doing. In my LP, of course.
as well as Dawn Guard at some point. Okay. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Frostguard. Already been up, mate. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. I'd enter out of room, please. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Uh, thank you. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Thank you. Ah, so this is comfy. I think that might be me for the day. I've recorded about eight parts, I think. Eight parts today? Yeah, eight parts. I think that's going to be me for the day. So I'll see you all in my next part. So I will see you all then.